transcription and translation. Why DNA replication occurs? DNA replication is the process in which the genome's DNA is copied in a cell. The DNA makes a copy of itself during cell division. The process of DNA replication is vital for cell growth, repair, and reproduction. Before dividing, cells must double cell structures, organelles, and genetic information. DNA replication occurs in the S, synthesis, phase of interphase during the cell cycle. Specific enzymes work to unwind and separate the double helix and add complementary nucleotides to exposed strands. DNA replication is semi-conservative. The parent DNA strand separates into two. Each strand serves as a template for new complementary strands. This helps reduce the number of DNA copy errors. The new double helix is half original. Steps of DNA replication 1. Replication fork formation The enzyme helicase unzips DNA base pairs, adenine, A, thymine, T, cytosine, C, and guanine, G. DNA helicase disrupts the hydrogen bonds between base pairs to separate the strands into a Y shape known as the replication fork. The replication fork is bidirectional, one strand is oriented toward the fork in the 3 foot to 5 direction, leading strand, while the other is oriented 5 to 3, lagging strand. Single strand binding, SSB, proteins stabilize the unwound parental DNA. DNA gyrase will help in unwinding DNA by removing the strain introduced when DNA double helix is unzipped by helicase enzyme. 2. Initiation, Primer Binding RNA primer generated by the enzyme DNA primase binds to the three foot of the leading strand as a starting point for DNA replication. Steps of DNA replication continue. 3. Elongation Enzymes known as DNA polymerases are responsible for creating the new strand by a process called elongation. There are five known types of DNA polymerases in bacteria and human cells. The leading strand is synthesized continuously toward the fork so the polymerase can add DNA nucleotides in this direction. The lagging strand is put together in short pieces called Okazaki fragments. The Okazaki fragments each require an RNA primer to start the synthesis. As synthesis proceeds, this primer is removed by an enzyme called exonuclease, the RNA nucleotides are replaced with DNA nucleotides, and the gaps between fragments are sealed by an enzyme called DNA ligase. Steps of DNA replication continue. 4. Termination once elongation of the leading and lagging strands is complete, the newly formed DNA strands are proofread by another exonuclease to check, remove, and replace any errors. Because eukaryotic chromosomes are linear, DNA replication comes to an end of a line in eukaryotic chromosomes. Telomere sequences are added to the ends of the DNA. DNA replication summary 1. Helicases unwind the parental double helix. 2. Single-strand binding proteins stabilize the unwound parental DNA. 3. The leading strand is synthesized continuously in the 5 foot to 3 direction by DNA polymerase. 4. The lagging strand is synthesized discontinuously. Primase synthesizes a short RNA primer, which is extended by DNA polymerase to form an Okazaki fragment. 5. After the RNA primer is replaced by DNA, by another DNA polymerase, not shown, DNA ligase joins the Okazaki fragment to the growing strand. The central dogma of molecular biology. The relationship among DNA, RNA, and protein is described by the central dogma proposed by Francis Crick in 1958. The central dogma states that the DNA directs its replication and its transcription to RNA, which, in turn, directs its translation to proteins. What is DNA transcription? DNA transcription is the synthesis of RNA under the direction of a DNA template catalyzed by the enzyme RNA polymerase, 
transcriptase in a reaction that utilizes nucleotide triphosphates as substrates and frees pyrophosphates with the formation of internucleotide bonds. In eukaryotes, transcription occurs within the membrane-bound nucleus, and the mRNA transcript must be transported to the cytoplasm. In prokaryotes, which include bacteria and archaea, transcription occurs in the cell cytoplasm. The DNA strand that directs the synthesis of RNA is called the template strand. Steps of DNA transcription 1. Initiation RNA polymerase, which is an enzyme that transcribes DNA into RNA, binds to the DNA of the gene at a region called the promoter. A promoter contains DNA sequences that let RNA or its helper proteins attach to the DNA. Once the transcription bubble has formed, the polymerase can start transcribing. Steps of DNA transcription continue. 2. Elongation RNA polymerase proceeds along the template strand of DNA in the 3 foot to 5 direction. RNA polymerase adds matching nucleotides by base pairing with the DNA template in a similar manner to DNA replication, but the RNA strand is being synthesized that does not remain bound to the DNA strand. The RNA transcript is nearly identical to the non-template strand of DNA. However, RNA strands have the base uracil, U, in place of thymine, T. As elongation proceeds, the DNA is continuously unwound ahead of the core enzyme and rewound behind it. Steps of DNA transcription continued. 3. Termination RNA polymerase keeps transcribing until it gets a signal to stop. The process of ending transcription is called termination. This happens once the RNA polymerase transcribes a sequence of DNA known as a terminator. Termination results in RNA polymerase stalling, leaving the DNA template, and freeing the messenger RNA, mRNA. Termination results in RNA polymerase stalling, leaving the DNA template, and freeing the messenger RNA, mRNA. In a prokaryotic cell, multiple ribosomes can currently translate the mRNA transcripts into polypeptides. However in eukaryotic cells, the newly transcribed eukaryotic mRNAs must be processed after transcription. They are spliced and have a 5-foot cap and poly A tail attached on their ends. What is DNA translation slash protein synthesis? The process of translation, or protein synthesis, involves decoding an mRNA message into a polypeptide. Amino acids are covalently strung together in lengths from approximately 50 amino acids to more than 1,000. In prokaryotes and eukaryotes, the process of translation is similar. The protein synthesis machinery includes the large and small subunits of the ribosome, mRNA, and transfer RNA, tRNA. Transfer RNA is a type of RNA molecule that brings amino acids to the growing chain of the polypeptide. Steps of Translation 1. Initiation Translation begins when a mRNA molecule attaches to the ribosome. As each group of three nucleotides of the mRNA molecule, also called codon, moves through the ribosome, the proper amino acid is brought into the ribosome by tRNA. 2. Elongation In the ribosome, amino acids are transferred to the growing polypeptide chain by the action of the tRNA elongation. 3. Termination When the stop codon is reached the mRNA uncouples from the ribosome. After the ribosomes have completed translation, the mRNA is degraded. The nucleotides can then be reused in another transcription reaction. References Thank you.